wrong, but who's sending her strange letters? It's time for another mystery with Inspector Grant and Detective Constable Dixon in Bodyguards. This is serious. Candy, I am watching you. You will be killed before tomorrow night. This is not just a threat. Have you heard of Candy? No. I have, Mum. She's a singer. Her records are played on the radio all the time. Thank you, Dixon. This letter was sent to Candy at her hotel. She's here in town for a concert tomorrow night. It's a death threat? Yes. Well, who sent it? We don't know. It isn't signed. When was it delivered to the hotel? This morning. It was posted yesterday from London before lunch. That's all we know. The writer can't spell. What? There's a spelling mistake. Here. Threat. T-H-R-E-double-T. -T. The correct spelling is T-H-R-E-A-T. -E sir. Thank you, Dixon. So, she needs bodyguards 24 hours a day. I'd like to volunteer, Mum. You're both going to do it. Right. right. Good. And another thing. She wants you to dress like musicians. <laughs> what about this? Oh, that's no good. It's made of plastic. Mmm. Made in Italy, Armani. Very smart. Yes, this is the one for me. Oh, I'd like that, sir. No, you can't have it. I found it first. Dixon. Dixon! Where's Candy? No, it's all right, sir. She's in the other room. This isn't a holiday, Dixon. Look at all this mess. Ciao. Ciao. Uh, hello, Miss... Uh, Candy. Uh, this is my inspector. Uh, inspector Grant. Cool. Don't stand near the window! There's a Jaguar with two men in it. Were they parked there when you arrived? I don't know, sir. I didn't look. Right. Is it pale blue? Yes. The driver's got a blonde ponytail. Yes. The other guy's got short, dark hair. That's them. My chauffeur and my manager. Who is it? Room service. Who sent you? I was sent by the manager. Food for Miss Candy. Compliments of the hotel. It's okay, he's cool. He brought breakfast this morning and the food for Ringo. Where was the food prepared? What? Come on, I haven't got all day. Where was it cooked? Here, in the kitchen. In the kitchen? Who prepared it? I don't know. The chef? I don't know. All right, you can go. Mmm, nice strawberries. Yes, but they might be poisoned. Poisoned? Yes. But I've got an idea. 
You try one first, Dixon. Oh, I don't know about that, sir. Oh, come on, Dixon, quickly. Well? I don't know. Mm hmm? Is it all right? Yes, it's very nice, sir. It's all right, Miss uh, Candy. Food isn't poisoned. I'm not hungry. Who are you? Sydney. I'm Candy's manager. Listen to this. Rockstar has 24-hour bodyguards after death threats. Nice photo of you, Candy. When was it taken? Last year in L.A. Oh, <laughs> look at this. Threats is spelt wrongly. T-H-R-E-A-T-S. <laughs> no, Sydney, that's the right spelling. Is it? I thought it was T-H-R-E-double-T. <laughs> Sydney can't spell anything right. Can I ask a few questions, sir? Dixon, you can take notes. Right, sir. Oh, I'm sorry, I haven't brought a pen. I've got one. Thank you. Right. The threat was received this morning. Have there been any other threats? No. But she had some very strange phone calls last week. One of them was at three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> How was the concert? Brilliant, it was sold out. 10,000 people. A lot of tickets were sold yesterday, after all the publicity in the papers. How many? More than 9,000, I think. Can I see your notes, Dixon? Here you are, Mum. Green ink? I borrowed the pen from Sydney, Mum. Oh, yes, Sydney. That's Candy's manager. What an idiot. He thought threat was spelt T H R E double T. <laughs> uh -huh. Hmm. Maybe the threat was written by her manager, Mum. But. but. you mean Sydney wanted to kill her? No, Grant, but they got a lot of publicity, and after that, a lot of tickets were sold. What? It was the same green ink and the same spelling mistake. It was all a publicity stunt, sir. Exactly. And where are Sydney and Candy now? On a flight to New York. We took them to the airport, Mum. <laughs>